To welcome you all to this August occasion. Some time two years ago, we were here with the same team Ghana and team Ghana go to Ghana from the United States. They came here to reward kids who had done well in their various classrooms, meaning they were first top in the class. Uh, in our rounds to reward these kids, we realized that some of them were sitting on the ground. The head of the junior high also complained of lack of ICT learning facilities and that the students were to write the same exams with their counterparts from the South. Hence the appeal to Team Ghana Go to Ghana from the United States. They listened to us went home and here we are today to really celebrate what they went out there to do and come here to satisfy us. And it is this beautiful Bill and Michelle Lirat ICT Learning Center that we have. And also furniture in the classroom painted and murals pasted on the ball on, on the walls for the kids to assist them in their learning processes. What I want to say is this. Talent say not down. If we do not stand up to assist ourselves in self-development, government will never be able to do it. How do we do it? We do it through our own effort. Through the effort of friends, very good friends, brothers and sisters, as we have them here from the United States. There are others who can come in to help us if we are up and helping ourselves. So I will not go far, just cut it short and appeal to our people, do not sit down for central government to do it. Our district assembly is very poor. We do not even have money to attend the markets and pay rates. But we ourselves should come out. We have our own energy in us. Nobody buys it. Let's work. Let's work and make the schools better. All that they have put down here for us, be the watchmen of these properties. Don't let any single one of us come and take them and walk away one day. So I am urging you, all of you, the war dogs of what we have here today. Thank you very much, sir. Woo! So we have a youth from the Delta of America now. So we have a song for a lot. 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 So the one who is in Antara Church and I'm going to go to the other one. So the one who is in the agenda is the speech of the DC, the representative who do a creative house, and this is the executive who will come. An ICT learning center. These facilities as already mentioned, are provided by the Pale and then community-based organization. 
you bear with me that development is a shared responsibility. I think that is why these philanthropists have sought money for the support of the school. The Assembly therefore wishes to express its gratitude to the organization for their support and request other organizations to follow suit. The Assembly strongly believe that the provision of ICT center and furniture for the school will go a long way to improve teaching and learning in the school, especially the teaching of ICT. The Assembly is also committed to collaborating effectively with all development partners in the district to improve the living standards of the people through education. I wish to state that the Talisman of them District Assembly has over the years been pumping a lot of its resources into building of schools and provision of furniture into schools to ensure that we have quality of education in the district. And this is an activity that has continued until date. In our 2010-2011 budget, there is a provision to procure furniture for schools that study or for children who sit on the ground in classrooms. This, the Assembly believes, when it is tackled, will provide a suitable sitting places, will also improve students' attentiveness in classroom during teaching session. I wish therefore to congratulate this organization for their wonderful contribution to the promotion of education in the district. And I also convey the gratitude of the district chief executive who would wish to have been with you here, but for the fact that she is out of the district on an equally important activity. I said that. Thank you very much.
nation is the lifeblood of every nation. Uh, we in Townsend, Afghan district here, have had a lot of collaboration with uh, NGOs who are partners in education with us. So part of their major support is on this ICT, which our children have been so much disadvantaged. It is a great achievement today that our friends of the U.S. have come out with a dream which we had some time ago, which has become a reality today, and is going to be an example for others to emulate. The facility we are seeing today in this circuit, in Joseph's Junior Secondary, is going to benefit all the catchment schools within the circuit and all teachers who are interested to learn ICT. No, the district has mounted training programs, and a good number of ICT teachers have been trained. All the junior and uh, high secondary schools have uh, a teacher for ICT. Um, this facility will extend to primary, and every primary child will benefit from this facility. So on uh, behalf of the Education Directorate, we wish to express our profound gratitude to our partners of the U.S. and we will ask for more as we will be said. We thank them very much and may God bless them and reward them benevolently. Thank you very much. So, uh, and I want to do everything I can to achieve. So, hence the computer lab, the desks, and all the other things that we've brought. I want people to know that I'm here with six teenage students from the U.S. and they worked very hard for about a year to bring the money and the things that we needed to do to do this program. Um, I hope you can all just give them a hand. They're wonderful kids, and they came here to work with kids. So we have students helping students, which I think is a great message to give the world. So thank you guys, you're awesome. And all of you guys, all of you, thank you so much for all your help and for making us feel welcome and at home. I hope that the computer lab stays intact and keeps everybody educated for many years to come. I hope that everyone, all you students, take good care of it, respect it, and learn from it, and understand that you have a choice. You can get an education and nothing will stop you. If you